Right, so in front of me, I got the GTX 1060 over here and a 500 watt power supply over here. So here is the GTX 1060. Life, life is, is just always mysterious and surprising. And over here is the TVGA bronze 500 watt power supply. So here's the wall adapter power cable, and here's the power supply with all the cables you need to plug into your PC. Okay, now to install the card and the power supply into your computer, first you have to unplug everything, and then we're going to show you what to do. Okay. okay, first you have to take off the back panel, so you just have to unscrew these two screws. And now the back panel just slides out like that, and it lifts off like that. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is unplug everything from your power supply. Unplug everything that's plugged into. Okay, this is the four pin CPU plug, so unplug that. Okay, so now you have to unplug all your SATA devices, so that's like your solid state drive, your hard drive, and your disk reader. So I'm just gonna cut this because they're pinned down. Okay, they're on this cable. These are your SATA powers, so make sure all of these are unplugged. Okay, wait, we have to unplug this one too. I'm pretty sure, yeah. So make sure all of these are unplugged. They look like this. That's what the SATA power connector looks like. Okay, so this one is kind of hard to get out, but this is the 24 pin cable. Okay, and you get that out like that. Okay, and there's a little cable connector down here. So make sure you get your cable out of that when we're trying to remove the power supply. I'm gonna take them out one by one. Okay. Okay, now we have to unscrew the power supply. So just take these four screws on the outside. Okay, now you can just take the power supply and you can just pull it out of the case. So just be gentle with it. Okay, and just like that, it's free from the case. So now we're going to install the graphics card. So I've turned the camera angle around and basically you wanna have the fan facing outward and the plug facing out to the hole for where the old power supply was. So this should just slide in like that. Be careful of all the cables. And then this should basically go in here like that. And then it slots in just like that. This so should be flush over here. This is in the corner here. And then we can just screw it back in. And this is where you're going to plug it in over here. And it's got a power switch too. So I'm just using the original screws that I just took out of the old power supply to screw in the new power supply like this. Okay, so now I have to take this. This is a 20 plus 4 connector. And you have to snap them together to make it a 24 pin connector. See? It's 20 plus 4. Just make sure these are together when you install it. So you got to connect this. And then this whole thing should plug in just like that into there and make sure the locking pin is in the back on this the far side okay should be good okay so these pins are for the cpu and on this particular computer we only need one of these because it's only a four pin cpu but if yours says eight you'll have to combine these together so now we're going to get this in there and that should click into place just like that right there we're just going to need one of them in there okay so these are the state of power connectors so this power supply comes with six but for this computer, you only need two. So you just need one for either your hard drive or your solid state drive, and you need one for your DVD drive. Okay, so this is my solid state drive. So this goes with this little pin on the left side, in my case. Okay, there we go. Plugged in, just like that. Okay, so now for this computer, it has a hybrid power for the DVD drive. So this SATA power goes into this adapter, and that plugs in just like that. And now I'm just gonna remove the protective film. Make sure to take off these little guys too. 
Now you have to take off the protective cover off these pins, and this is what's going to plug into your motherboard. So now with your screwdriver, you have to go like back and forth in here, and eventually this thing will come out. Because you have to take this out so that you can install a graphics card. Okay, so eventually, after you wiggle this back and forth for a while, it'll just pop out like that. And you also have to take out this one too. Now that these two slots are removed, you have to unhook this thing, and that will unlock it so that way you can install your graphics card. Okay, so now this card goes into this slot right over here. You should be able to place it down and be careful of this. Oh, oh I almost broke that. Careful of the wireless cables and all the cables in here. And let's see. Okay, and once you've lined it up with that slot, it should click into place. Okay, and once you get this into place, it'll click into place, and this lock right down here will snap in, and that's how you know it's in. So now that it's installed, you just have to put this bracket that should snap back in like that. And now it's pretty solidly installed. So for this, you're gonna grab the cable that says PCIe, and this is a six plus two pin cable. For this power supply, you only need six pins, so you don't, we don't need this little part, and this is gonna plug in like I'm about to show you. So now, this thing will plug into your graphics card right over here in the corner. With the latch in the back, and it should just snap into place like that. So now I'm just gonna use this big bag of cable ties to tie together all my cables and do a little cable management so it's not a total mess. cables are tied nice and tight we should be able to plug it in and test it to see if it works okay so now make sure that you're plugging in your monitors to the graphics card as opposed to what you're plugging into before which is the internal graphics so I'm gonna use HDMI because my monitor right now uses HDMI and just plug it into the graphics card just like that okay now I'm just gonna grab the power cable that came with my power supply I'm just gonna plug it into my power supply and hopefully this thing will all work okay so now everything is all plugged in and hopefully it'll work Okay, so now I'm just going to turn the computer on. I'll look at my monitor and see if anything happens. My fan is spinning down there. And we're booting. And there you go, it booted just like normal, which means everything should be working. Okay, so now we have to go over here, geforce.com slash geforce screen slash download, and click download now. This will download the software to make the graphics card work. So you can see right here, this is the geforce experience. Just hit download. Okay, now I just install this. So now follow the on-screen prompts to install the drivers you need for the graphics card. You can see drivers available, click to install, update driver, and there we go, you can see the driver and it's downloading right now. So now just follow the on-screen prompts and give it a lot of time and it's going to install the drivers you need to get going. And once we've got all this installed, all I have to do is click restart now, that'll restart your computer and make sure everything's ready. Okay, now you just slide the case back in. Okay, now we're good. And now you can just grab your screwdriver and just screw in these two screws that we took out at the beginning. Now, finally, after all that work, everything seems to be working. You can see both my monitors are working over here. So now I'm going to show you a before and after of Fortnite. Okay, so before the graphics card, these are what my settings look like. So you can see I'm playing at 480p everything at low settings with motion blur turned off and I'm getting around 60 FPS where is he? oh there he is oh I actually killed him! oh and somebody just killed me! my pants on fire just killed me a few moments later so as you can see here, I'm at 1080p now, epic settings on everything, with motion blur turned on. It was turned off before, and right here sitting in the lobby, I'm getting around 75 frames a second. Let's see what that looks like in a real game. Right here, just running around on epic settings, I'm getting 75 to 80 frames a second. So unfortunately it doesn't actually make me any better at the game, but it does look a lot nicer. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this video. Like it if you like it, dislike it if you didn't like it. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section down below. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, be sure to subscribe.
Also, I'm gonna have a lot of the relevant stuff linked below in the description. So if you wanna pick up the power supply or the GTX 1060 or even the PC, I'll have it all linked below. 